Hello, and welcome to another Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I am Dr. Abstract. Uh, let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. Normally we would press Code and then copy the, the template there, but we've already got a, a feature underway where you can swipe between pages here. And what we'd like to do is continue to build this with a title, and some triangles here to be able to go from page to page with buttons. So we'll see if we can make that in five minutes. We'll come into our previous code. Uh, this you can find at um, zimjs.com slash five, F-I-V-E, and you can start with that. Uh, it was called pages. We're now working in pages two uh, to add that extra functionality in five minutes. All right, now let's start the timer now. We will make a title, and text is put into a new label, so a new label. And we may as well drop right into the Zim Duo technique of the um, text here being a circle, like that. A color, this is so we can get to the color easily of white. We may as well change the size while we're at it, uh, 50, like that. We'll dot center that on page one and dot pose that uh, null. Oops, I don't know if that would do null. Mm, this one will be, say, 50, how about 40 from the top? And uh, that should do it. Okay, let's take a look. We refresh here. And we, yeah, good enough. We have a title of a circle. We then copy that down, holding the control key down into the two places there. This will be a rectangle. And it's on page two. That's page two's title. And here is a triangle. And that's on page three. So that's page three's title. Super duper. Now some arrows to, to go between these pages. First we'll call this pages const pages is equal to a new pages so that we can use pages.go to, to change. Let's make the right hand arrow. And that would be a new triangle. 70 comma 70 comma 70 comma ho white. We'll start this off with a dot alp or an alpha of 0.8 and then we'll dot hub it. What that does is gives it a rollover to one. We also want to position this. So dot pose at how about 50 comma 50. Um, true on the right and true on the bottom. And this will be all on page one like that. And oh, we want to tap that dot tap. And in the tapping, we will make an arrow function and that arrow function will say we want to go to the right. So that would be pages.go. Uh, we're on page zero right now, so we want to go to page one, and it's on the right. So let's try her out and see if our arrow works. Let me refresh here. That's pointing the wrong way. How about a dot rote on that, 90 degrees, and let's try that out again. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so there as we hover, it goes to the right, and when we press it, it goes to the right. Super duper. Well, now we need to copy that and paste it in here, and we'll make this one go to the left. So that's a minus 90. True, this means on the right-hand side, so we'll say false there, and that means it will locate at 50-50. Uh, on the left hand side, we'll want to go to page uh, index two. That's the last page. So if we're going backwards, left like that. Okay, now we should have arrows going left and right. And when we press that one, indeed it goes to the left. And when we press this one, indeed it goes to the right. And now we copy that amongst the, the other pages, like so. Copy. Uh, paste in there. And a paste in here. And this second page, let's see, first of all, it's on page two in both these cases. Page two, the directions should all be good. And then the second page is going to, when it goes to the left, it'll go to page one. And page two, when it goes to the right. And then down here, 
we have page three, page three. Uh, and we will go, when we go to the left, we will go back to, we're on page three, which is index two, we'll go to one. And when we go forward, we'll go to zero. <laughs> I think that's it. Um, let's uh, pause that timer. Okay, I'll check it out and see if it works. Hit an arrow, off it goes, we hit the arrow, off it goes, we hit the arrow, off it goes, and we go backwards, off it goes, backwards, off it goes, backwards, off it <laughs> backwards, not off it goes. Okay, so <laughs> we need to start that timer again because the rectangle page, resume that timer. Oh no, dum, 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 dum. the rectangle page is not going to the right place when we go back. So we're on the rectangle page is index one. We want to go to index zero. Did you catch that? <laughs> okay, now let's pause that timer. And uh, we refresh here. I don't know if it's cheating to pause the timer while we do a final check, but there we go. It's uh, now going to the right page in each of these. And of course, this swipe still works as well to, to be able to swipe. We've got a circle, a rectangle, uh, and a triangle with a little bit of a hover, which wouldn't make too much sense on mobile, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, and this would then work on both. Isn't that exciting? Do you want to see that code one more time? And you can always come in and find this code, zimjs.com slash five, and see what we were doing. But we added a label as well as a triangle. Now you could, uh, all this hover stuff here, it's built into a button. So you could create a new button and pass in the triangle as the button's icon. When you do that, you need to set the, the label of the icon to quote, quote, and that hides any text. Then um, that's not too bad. It's uh, pretty easy to make it that way, but you would still have to position it you would still have to rotate the, the triangle. So the only thing you're getting from a button really is that. And so it's kind of like uh, you'd still have to put the tap on it. So I don't mind making my triangles or my triangle buttons uh, work like that. It's uh, not too bad. I think we're good. It looks like a lot of niggly niggly, but you know, it wasn't that bad. And heck, we added all these buttons in five minutes with Zim. And that's what's fun is Zim is very fast to code in. In many cases, code in five minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract. And hey, if you're still here, come on in and join us. Zimjs.com slash slack. Don't be shy. I, I mean, a lot of coders are nerds, and that's true, but uh, hey, nerds can talk as well. We're all nerds, so come and talk to us and like hang out and say what you're working on. And Yeah, we'd love to hear from you. Ciao.